That's the best goose meat I've ever had. Hey, how's it going everybody? Jesse with Crash Outdoors. And today we're going to cook the uh, goose that we shot it's a couple videos ago with my uh, buddy Rob. So uh, let's jump right on into it. But before we do that, um, I've noticed that a lot of you guys aren't subscribed yet. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and comment to your heart's desire. So what I did with the goose breast is I put it in the crock pot to uh, just tenderize it, you know, and make it easier for us to shred up. Um, it's been in this crock pot for about five hours, and I've been cooking it in Dr. Pepper. Sounds weird, but it masks the gaminess, and well, it also gives it a more of a more of a sweeter flavor to it. So let's get them out and uh, shred them up. One, and I have another one in here. Here's two. All right. So all I'm gonna do is gonna take a fork, hold two forks, I'm gonna hold it down here, and then I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna shred it up like this. There you go. And I also brine these for about a day, day and a half. Um, it, it, like I said, it gets rid of the mask or it masks the uh, the gaminess, um, but it also gives it supposed to give it moisture. But anybody that cooked goose knows that goose breast is one of the drier, drier type meats on the goose. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish shredding this up and we'll come back once it's all shredded up. All right, we're about done here. As you can see, it actually has a consistency almost of like a pot roast. It's strange, I've never done this with a goose before. So hopefully um, this tastes pretty good. So it smells good. And uh, let's get it back inside the crock pot so we can add our barbecue sauce. So let's take all this, put it back in here. Don't miss any little bit of it. Back in the crock pot here. He did wash his hands. Of course I did wash my hands. That'd be nasty if I didn't. All right, so what we're gonna do is just take this bad boy. See, Sweet Baby Ray's, awesome barbecue sauce. I put it on pretty much anything and everything that I have, like with, if I want barbecue sauce on it. I mean, it's good. Put it on your cornflakes. Don't put it on your cornflakes. All right, so let's put this guy up in here. All up in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, it is dark. <laughs> I think we need more. I do have another. All right, I had to bust up the second bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's because there wasn't enough in that bottle there. All right, get a fork, stir it all around. Right, come on in here. Show them what they're, what they're missing. You should be here right now. This smells, looks good. Oh, smell that, babe. Give him a sniff. Oh yeah. Give him a sniff. Yeah. You smell it? You smell it? It smells awesome. All right. All right now, I'm gonna get your bread. And this is just, what is this, like a roll bread or something we got mm. from Walmart? Yeah. Anyway, all right, so I had to pre-cut it. I cut it in half, down the middle. And then here, just put this over here. This. Just like that. That. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it kind of like a Louisiana uh, sandwich. That's what some people would call it. It'd be, uh, usually it's pulled pork with coleslaw on top. Well, today it's gonna be pulled goose with coleslaw on top. That's gonna be awesome. All right, put that there. Get this coleslaw. Now this isn't homemade coleslaw, this is actually stuff from KFC. We didn't have time and this takes a while. I don't know, I've never done it. So right now we just have to deal with that. 
put that on top. Get all that yummy goodness in there. Put a little bit more. Get some of that juice in there. Oh yeah. Maybe too much. Nah, it's not too much. Go ahead and put, oh, I got it upside down. Put it like that, boom. All right. There you go. Look at that. Cameras don't do it justice. That looks good. So now the taste test. So is this wife approved? It's wife approved. Well, I think it's uh, time for us to go to bed. It is late, three o'clock comes early. So guys, for now, I can't, no, I can't go to bed yet. Rob has to try this. Mm -hmm. He shot it. You have to go to Rob's house. Okay. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Rob was unavailable to meet with us last night. So we're on our way right now to go to his place so we can try this goose. So let's go. Finally made it to Rob's house. Here's the guy. Hey guys. All right, and here's the sandwich. Look at that. That was juicy, dude. There he goes. Oh, wow. What you thinking? That's the best goose meat I've ever had. Wow. Now, are you just saying that because, or? No, I've had goose, excuse me, like five or six different ways. Pulled, however you did this, dude, amazing. I think the main thing was the Dr. Pepper. Enough Dr. Pepper will fix everything. But no, <laughs> the coleslaw cuts to the thickness because this is a red, like red thick meat. It's perfect. How long did you leave it in the, to brine and all that? A uh, day and a half for brine and about five hours in the crock. Best piece of meat I've ever had. No joke. Well, I'm um, glad you like it. Yeah. You guys. I wish you could try this right now. It's worth it. All the hard work and labor Jesse put into the one goose we got. <laughs> but I'm going hunting this Saturday, so. Yeah, lucky bum. We, we can do some more recipes. Let's do it. Okay. But, all right, guys, that's all we got for today. So uh, I guess until next time, we'll see you later. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>